Hi, my name is Popeye, making a video tutorial in Ubuntu Basics, demonstrating a new program for recording the screen. And I am using that very program to make this broadcast. And it's called Voco Screen. And in the past, I have demonstrated some other ones called Screencastor and also how to do it by means of the terminal. This is a new program, or relatively new, and it's sort of in beta stage and I have enlarged the screen to show what it looks like. It's very, very simple to use. Up in the top panel, you can see that there is a pause and stop. But in addition to that, you can go Control shift 10 to start it, 11 to stop it, and 12 to pause it. And I'm running it right now, and I'm going to show you uh, some of the details of the program. The screen is very, very simple and there are not too many uh, options. Uh, I am right now in the main window, which is a picture of the screen. And over here is audio. And in audio, I am recording in pulse and I am using my Logitech headset microphone. One nice advantage of this particular program is that you can record simultaneously by means of a built-in loopback device both your microphone and also what's playing on your screen. You can do more than one. So if I were going to do the microphone, there's a check mark here as you can see, and if I were going to record what is being played also uh, on my uh, desktop uh, like another uh, song or something I would put a check mark here also. In video uh, I'm recording at 25 frames a second I'm going 264 and I'm going MKV and you have an option to not record the mouse cursor if you want to. And then over here I told it to put the final a file on my desktop and to play it with VLC. So after it gets done recording and when I hit stop, uh, I can just hit play right here. Also, I can put a check mark right here and it, had I done so, then this Voco screen would not have been showing at all uh, while I am doing my uh, desktop screencast. And Right here, there's sort of a minimal thing that shows how many minutes have elapsed. And uh, I'm doing the whole entire screen. I'm going uh, 1366 by 768. You can, of course, record a portion of this screen. You can also uh, show in the corner of the screen uh, yourself in a video camera if you have one on your computer. Uh, I am now going to unzoom this and I'm going to show you how to get the program and you can get the program using your terminal and I'm going to go control alt T and when I have my terminal showing I'm going to put it up in the top corner and zoom into it and I'll just go backwards and show you how I installed the program and sudo uh, let's see here we go sudo add dash apt dash repository space ppa colon voco screen dash dev slash voco screen and then you let that run And then you do the sudo apt get update and then sudo apt get install. And that's all there is to it. And then after you install it, it appears up in your menu structure. And you go over here to uh, Unity and you can pull it up and you get this icon. And uh, uh, while it is running, it appears over here on the left Unity stri strip. If you right click it, you can lock it to the launcher or unlock it to the launcher or quit. 
and the nice thing about this particular program is that although it does not have a lot of extra features it does allow you to do a loop back sound with pulse audio if you go over to the sound and if you you have to use pulse and you'll use your external microphone and the monitor of your external microphone on the headset that will record both if you go to ALSA it does not work because ALSA does not have a loop back capability and that's one of the things about uh, Linux Pulse Audio provides the loop back so that you can record two or more sources of sound my name is Pop and I've got a whole bunch of videos on YouTube called Ubuntu Basics and I hope you enjoyed this very very much thank you again